In this example, I machining of a bracket, the next HSS operation is defined to perform the finished machining of the four large chamfers on the ribs of the part. In the cam tree, double click HSS PC Lin Faces to open the HSS Parallel Cuts Linear Operation dialog box. On the geometry page, click the show button. We can see that the chamfer faces are used for the drive surface definition. Let's exit the show geometry dialog box by clicking cancel. Now in switching to the tool page, you'll see that the previously used 3 8 inch diameter bullnose mill with a corner radius of a 16th inch is also used for this operation. Parallel cuts will be generated using a simple linear strategy with a 20 thou maximum step over. As you can see here, customized linking is used to allow short repositions and smooth transitions when starting each cut. Let's now click simulate to take a look at the HSS toolpath at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, set your desired simulation speed and click play. We see the tool approaches the first chamfer with a tangential arc and then finishes both faces according to the chosen linear strategy. It then rapids over to the second chamfer and performs a similar toolpath. Let's also look at the simulation using Solid Verify. Click play again to view the cutting tool moving through the solid stock material. Well, that just about does it for the finished machining of angled surfaces. We can close the simulation control panel and the HSS operation dialog box with the exit buttons. And next, we'll take a look at the remaining iMachining operations that are defined to perform the machining on the underside of the part.